what it means now the uh, greatest goaltender arguably in uh, NHL history will move into the front office Bernie yeah it's a, it's a great move uh, for the Blues uh, to have Marty Brodeur hang around here I mean what a great guy uh, not only a great athlete a great person and you uh, fail to see that he's got three Stanley Cups right. two gold medals uh, he's got a 10-time All-Star. He's got five Jennings trophies. So it goes on and on and on. And for him to be a part of the Blues now, and I think he's got so much to bring, uh, not only in the locker room, but, uh, you know, from looking above and watching above him, mean, he can provide, so, you know, so much insight uh, because he's been there. He's, he's right. seen uh, the success of, of the teams that he's been on, and I think he can bring that not only to the goaltenders, but uh, to everybody else, including the coaches. So I think it's a, a great move by Doug Armstrong, and, and I think that uh, all Blues fans, uh, I know the guys are excited about yes, it. They are. I'm sure the Blues fans should be excited that Marty Verdure is going to hang around here and, and be a part of this Blues organization for who knows how long, but uh, we're glad that it's right now for sure. It's a win-win right now, and the Blues, speaking of wins, do that in shootout fashion tonight over the Predators. Let's hear from the head coach, Ken Hitchcock. I, well, a little bit, but I thought we... We showed signs of being excited and really played. The first period we played was terrific. We had eight scoring chances or seven scoring chances to one or two or whatever. Um, couldn't get ourselves any gap in it, couldn't finish there. And then I thought uh, third period, uh, they showed the, they had one more game under their belt and that showed up and we, we looked like we'd missed eight or nine days and that showed up also. So I think, uh, we were much better than they were in the first, and they were much better than we were in the third, and the second was probably, from a play standpoint, was probably a draw. Like the second and third waves, which led to a couple of rebounds. Yeah, I don't think either team's defense could handle the other team's forwards. Um, I don't think either one could handle it. And, you know, they scored some, they scored some gritty goals, one one-on-ones at the net, in around the net area. We did exactly the same. We did a great job in periods of time getting pucks behind them, won a lot of foot races, got a lot of odd man rushes because of it. And they, they won a lot of one-on-ones in our zone, wore down our D a little bit and got some scoring opportunities and some goals because of it too. Both teams are built a little bit different. And uh, um, we did what we did well and they did what they did well. Your fourth line, you know, when they get their goals, it seemed like they come in really good games. And yeah, no well, I, I, I thought, we got really good minutes from Gotch. We got really good minutes from Otter, and we got great minutes from Revo again. So this is two or three games in a row now where Revo's played outstanding. Deserves more ice time, and with the two injuries, he's going to get it now. So. Can you tell us any updates on the two? No, both guys won't play tomorrow. Then we'll just see from there. Be on the trip, then we'll see from there. What specifically did you like about Gotch? Manage the game. 70 something percent on faceoffs underneath the puck did a great job for us okay thanks and now to our menards big money moment it's brian elliott the final save of the shootout on james neal and then the celebration by his dad great reaction stay with us on blues live <laughs> 